Alright guys, so here is a friend. Hello guys, I'm Epic Legend 75k. And he has built this awesome plane. Hey, where's the plane dragon dude? Be patient guys. Let me show you guys. Let's go, and let's follow him. Wow guys, I can't wait to explore the plane. Hee <laughs> hee. Now here we have the air defense. Wow. This is very creative. Nice epic legend. And the next room is... Here we have... The gaming room. Oh really? This room is very comfortable with cozy furniture. Of course, there are some TVs and PS5. Nice. Let's continue the tour. Oh. Um. What is this? Here is a jacuzzi. Oh, I see. This is the bathtub. And give a chad roll. Sigma play. Ah uh, uh, yeah. Sigma plane, hello Mr. Rudy. Okay, let's continue. Sure, let's go. Oh, here's the cockpit. The cockpit is for two people, and is made with pretty detail. Good job, epic legend. Hee hee hee, thank you, dragon dude. And here's the cabin. Oh, look at this, guys. The cabin seats are elegant. There are even TVs too. And there's also a bathroom. Ahem, the bathroom is also made with detail. Nice. And also Mr. Mr. Chef, Chef Coco. Coco. Hee this is cute. Good job, Coco. This is so cool. Oh, and this. This is baggage. That's right. I made this build with my friend Cat. Great. Good job, Epic Legend and Cat. Thank you. All right, everyone. So thanks to Epic Legend and Cat for making this fantastic build. This plane is perfect. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Epic Legend. Do you want to say anything else before I move to the next build? Subscribe to Dragon Dude, Cat, and me. Haha, ha. thanks bro. Alright guys, that's all for this build. Let's move on to the next one. The build number 2 is, Aircraft Carrier Ship. And Mooney is the builder. Hello everyone. Let's go Mooney. Let's go. Alright guys, he will show us around. Come Dragon Dude, let me show you. Oh, this is the engine. We have the finest engine. This carrier has four engines, two engines on each side. Wow, and this is the turrets. Nice, I've already seen the exterior parts. So cool. Nice, let's continue. Let's head to the navigation room. Wow, there are many computers and radars. So we navigate the carrier in this room. And for extra protection, I've also installed bulletproof windows. Oh. Let's explore on the second level. Okay. Oh, the second level is below. Mooney, what is this lever for? Oh, that's for the door. Wow, nice. And there are some other computers. In this aircraft carrier, you must have so many computer guys. At this PC we use it to monitor the engine. He even builds the ventilation too. Nice work. Storage? Damn. All supplies are in this room. Weapons? Ammo supplies. And so many other stuff. Let's land a jet on this aircraft. Yes, sir. And our soldier died. Reporting to the aircraft carrier, Special Force Dragon has taken off from the base and is en route to the aircraft. Special Force Dragon has spotted the aircraft carrier and is ready for landing. Initiating landing procedures. The landing procedure is complete. Nice landing, sir. Thank you, soldier. Okay, guys. That's all for this build. I would give this amazing build 9 out of 10. It was awesome, Tilda. Let's move on to the next one. And the build number 3 is... A UFO. So, guys. Here's my friend, Rafif. Hello. He's the builder of this UFO. And he will show us around. Okay, Rafif. Let's tour this UFO. Who is that? I don't know. Let's come in. Okay. How interesting guys. And here we have TVs with two gold play buttons. Subscribe guys so I can get the gold play button. Hee <laughs> hee. And very neatly arranged sofas. A fan. A lift. Wow, this is so cool bro. I'm glad you like it. Of course. Look at all this stuff guys. A fridge. Empty. Empty too. Why are there two empty fridges lol? It would be best if you went shopping soon. Hee <laughs> hee. I forgot to buy some food. Bruh. The build is just right, not too big and not too small. And the exterior of the UFO looks amazing too. So I will give this alien ship a 9 out of 10. Nice efforts. Oh, Rafif write something. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Dragon, Dragon Dude. Haha, ha. 
Thank you Rafif. Alright everyone, subscribe now. By the way, let's move on to the next build. And the build number 4 is, a warship. Look at this ship guys. This build is insane, so cool. Even though I haven't seen the whole thing yet, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And these are the missiles. Let's test it. It works guys. And these missiles are also present on every side of the ship. There are solar panels too. And there are various kinds of weapons. As you can see, this warship build is impeccable and elegant. I didn't even see anything tilted or anything like that. Let's see the inside. Oh, the engine ship. The engines are also built with incredible detail. Nice. And this is the bedroom. Very neat and comfy. A resting place for the crew. Oh, perhaps the captain's bedroom. Oh, this room is the kitchen. Empty. Empty again. You guys should go shopping soon if it's empty like this. Hee <laughs> hee, let's go up. This is the meeting place. Let's go up again. Wow, this is the cockpit. The cockpit is also meticulously and coolly crafted. I am wowed with this ship. This ship definitely deserves a 10 tenths. By the way, let's move on to the next build. The build number 5 is, Whale Plane. Look at this plane guys, this reminds me of a real whale, and that's interesting. Let's head to the inside. And by the way, this guy is the builder. Hello. Okay let's see. And here's the cabin seats, wait, the floor. The floor has holes, even bigger. It could be better though. Let's see the other room, aircraft trolley. And here's the toilet, um? Let's see the other room, the cockpit? Nice guys. So, that's it for this build. Oh wait, there's an aircraft vent. I like it. Overall, I like the build, but I will give it 7 out of 10. Let's move to the build number 6. And the 6th build is, Flying Ship. Wow, let's explore this cool build. Oh, it's empty here. Let's go to another room. The gate? Nice idea. Oh. The interior is quite intriguing, with lots of diverse furniture, and there's a bed with kitchen stuff here. But even so, it's arranged very neatly. And here's the cockpit. The cockpit is also tidy and detailed. Guys, I see the other room. Oh, this is the living room. It looks like the crew had a party last night. This is the toilet. Ahem, now I have been surprised twice by the mirror. What is this room? It's empty here. What is this guys? Let me know in the comments. And it's gone. I would give this build 8 out of 10. Good build. Let's move on to the next one. And the seventh build is, Great Maze. Wow guys. Can I finish this maze? Let's try it. Oh, the builders turned a house into a maze beautifully. Let's start guys. I found a jump pad. There's an invincible wall here. Nice. There are traps guys, and there are many blue walls here. One hour later. Guys, I'm confused and stuck in this maze. I can't find the way out. It seems like I took the wrong path, and now I'm back here again. Now I've completed the maze. Hey, this maze is just insane. The builder is really pro. I'm sure it took a really long time to make this. As a maze, I would give it 11 out of 10. It's just perfect and challenging. Restaurant. Here's the parking space. Awesome. This is a fish pond. Oh, I see. Cool. Wait guys, I forgot. This is a building made by Rafif, who also made a UFO in build number 3. Hello again everyone. Oh. This is the interior of the drive-thru. Let's go inside Dragon Dude. Okay Rafif. Damn, the restaurant is really lovely, and everything is well arranged. There are two Coco who are taking orders. Excuse me Coco. Keep up the excellent work Coco. The interior of the restaurant is really lovely. And here's the logo. Wait. This is the vault. This restaurant is so rich lol. I think I'll open a restaurant too guys. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay guys, the first building I'm gonna review is Flying Ship. 
Wow guys this is awesome. No this is awesome. Thank you Dragon Dude. Thanks for showing this. Oh by the way guys, this rich guy is the builder. Hello everyone. Are you building this flying ship alone? I built this ship with my friend, Liam. Good job for rich guy and Liam. Okay, let's start a tour on this flying ship. Let's start from the back. The door concept is cool, but let's take a look inside, ha? Huh? Wow ha ha. What are you doing here Coco? And this is the cafeteria. Oh, nice. A place for the crew to rest and eat, and Coco as a bartender role. And let's continue the tour. Wow, ammo supply. This is so cool. Weapons room. Huh? Weapons room. Oh yes, there's an AK. No, look behind. Behind? Oh my god, weapon room. The weapons are also arranged very neatly, and Coco as a gunsmith. <laughs> Thank you for always taking care of the weapons here. And let's continue. Rich guy and Liam, keep up the good work. Oh, this is the emergency door. And this is the cockpit. Oh, really? Wow guys, do you see this? Excuse me rich guy. Sure. Guys, I won't get tired of saying that this is really cool. And this is the steering wheel. This is so cool. Lol ha ha. Huh? What is that? I would give this. Wait, there's one more room. Let me show you. Okay, show it rich guy. And we are back in the weapons room. Here dragon dude. What the? This is where the ship's engine is. Damn, you guys did some detailing too. Nice work. Thanks dragon dude. And let's go outside. Oh yeah, let's look at the outside. Where? I'm here. Oh, this is engines with, with a snow, snow bear, bear on, on the, the top. top. This is the right side engine. And there is a weapon ship. Of course, it's work guys. This build is awesome. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. And the second build is, this secret base. Wait guys, wow, the builder forgot to name it. Let me help you. Nice. Wait a minute, if I name it secret base, doesn't that defeat the purpose of it being a secret? Yeah, never mind guys. Let's tour the secret base. Wow guys. Nice. Oh there's a big mirror here. Hello everyone. And there's a computer, and locker. Let's see where is the door going. Oh to the outside. Nice. Huh? Portal? Um. Um. Well guys this build is pretty small. Maybe enough for around 1 to 2 people. Wait there's a door. What inside this door? Oh there's one more room. And of course, there's a TV. Nice. Cozy sofa. Even fireplace. This is a pretty good build guys, a place that suits being called a secret base. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Alright, let's on to the next one. So, someone gave me this house, and claimed they abandoned it, and of course, it's pretty messy lol. Well, let's take a look inside. Oh my god, the stove's still on. Let's tour from the outside guys, inside is too dangerous for now, why is there a bed outside? As you can see guys, this build is kinda, well, real life Tetris game, just without a strategy or a pause button. And what's this? It's a grave? More better, and another Tetris build, a garage. Um, okay let's see the inside, there's a tree, TV, and, and floor mattress, how do you get into sleep here? Do you jump? console game in the bed and this is the dining table with the stove still on let's see the upper floor not much to see here either and another building a bathroom huh why is there a cctv camera in the bathroom so it's a broken build basically guys i would give it a 3 out of 10 because as you can see guys and let's move on to build number four Guys, this one is not actually build, but, this one is like a set basically, which I made for shorts, it took me a long time, and I thought I should include it in the video, now look at that, hee <laughs> hee. This looks like a very rich chicken car meat, with stacks of money lying around. What do you think guys? Hee <laughs> hee, rate this set out of 10 in the comment section. Let's move on to the next build. Home, this is a restaurant build someone sent me. Guys, did you see that? This logo reminds me of McDonald's. 
Well, that ensign looks pretty good, not gonna lie. 10 out of 10 for the M logo, let's get into the restaurant. Um? Inside, this restaurant looks pretty messy. Let's take a look behind the store. There are not many changes to this toilet. What about the kitchen? Um, how do I get in? Home, it's not so good. Even the cashier's desk was very empty. The only thing I like about it is the M logo. I would give it a 3 out of 10. Two of the marks are only for the logo though. Otherwise, it's a 1. Let's move on to the next build. Weird robot. Huh? Where's the robot? Oh that's it. Hum. Pretty unique stuff here. Let's see another side of this robot. Looks like a mini robot, not much to say about it. And the eyes are pretty good, but the other things could have been better, like the hands are too short. Also, why are there eggs in the leg bra, and it's moving? And who are these guys? Anyways, I see that there is a small parkour right next to it. Let's try guys. Well, that's it for this build. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Let me know your score in the comment. Shock build. Guys, looks pretty cool. Mm. Yummy. Burger. And pizza. That was tasty guys. Wow guys, this is so cool. These looks pretty good from the outside. Also I don't know what this is. Huh? Huh? Anyway, let's get in. Bonfire? Let's see other stuff. Huh? Ah, that's it. It's pretty empty from the inside, which is kinda bad. Let's see what's next to it. Huh? Where's the other door? Found it? A car? And there's still the other. Guys, I think I know what's this. This is a... So this is a truck car carrier. I guess this is the trailer. And the previous one is the truck. Nice. Well, that was good enough. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Overall pretty nice build. Let's move on to the 8th build. Cool server. Cool server literally, hum. This one is not a build either brah, it's just some random props. But, looks kinda cool to be honest. Hey everyone, I'm Coco, the firework chicken, and I'm currently on a very important mission. If you watch this recording, it's that mean I'm asleep right now. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Let's take a closer look. Damn. This is actually kinda cool. Wow? I think it's a set like mine. What do you think guys? Also, all of this is arranged very neatly guys. Well I don't know what this all is about, but it's cool. I would give this set an 8 out of 10. Let's move on to the last build. So, for the next build, it's one of the coolest so far in this series, a huge submarine. By the way, Sorry for the low footage quality, it has been sent to me by someone on Telegram. Anyway, let's take a look. Wow! A nice place to enjoy sea views. Let's go downstairs. Oh! This is the meeting place of the submarine crew. Let's go down again. Oh! This is the bedroom for the crew. Wow! I'm speechless. And another bedroom. Elegant guys. Guys. This is so cool. A gym place. Comfortable toilet. Even the navigation room. Wow. Mini computers. The periscope. And the engine room. This is really cool guys. Every detail is meticulously crafted. And definitely this ship deserves 10 out of 10. And this is the first build. Helicopter. Sup sir. Oh, hi soldier. This is Soldier Mooney guys. Hello everyone. So Mooney will show. Damn? Soldier, what is this? I know Sir Dragon Dude will ask. This is our newest military juggernaut robot. Wow. I am so speechless. This is the juggernaut. That's right sir. And this is a flying mech robot. Correct sir hee hee. What do you think? 
this is just 100 out of 10. Oh my god, thank you sir. Let's get closer shall we? Let's go soldier. This one has the ability to fly. Damn, the juggernaut charges a fireball. Very impressive soldier. He also has a sharp tongue. Oh that's his tongue. And his arm can transform into a gun. Very detailed build soldier Mimi. Let's go closer to the flying robot. He has wings. The rotating things are for strength. I see, so cool. And he can also sit low. <laughs> and he's lifting an acid barrel. Damn, the fight's gonna be legendary. This is awesome guys. Dragon Dude clone. He's not your clone sir. Huh? He's your grandfather. What? I didn't know I had a grandfather. He has the skin of the old dragon dude. Whoa, my old skin equals grandfather. <coughs> this hand is also a magnet, and shoots acid from the sides. And he has futuristic boots. And the flying neck wears medieval shoes. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, the juggernaut has a jetpack. Cool. And he can also keep little babies like us in here. Lol, ha ha ha. After going up and down from the juggernaut, now I am thirsty. Remember guys. Hydration is important. For real, for real. Alright guys. That's all for these builds. As I mentioned earlier, this build is worth 100 out of 10. And thanks to these three soldiers. Let's move on to the next build. For the second build, here's a cool mansion. And Rafif is the builder of this mansion. You must know him. Hello everyone. Long time no see. Let's take a tour of Rafif's mansion guys. Wow, garage? This garage is really big, created with great detail along with its tools, such as the real garage guys. The living room is also spacious. Even the bathroom is big. Wow, the shower is also made very well and detailed guys. Nice. Let's go on a tour outside. Oh, there's a small farm here. Yes, I love to farming here. And this is the security room. A big mansion like this really needs tight security guys. So cool Rafif. And this is the dream room for gamers guys. Hee <laughs> hee. Now I am on the top floor of the mansion. Wait, damn. A pool. Chillin' guys. This mansion is amazing. I would give this build a 9 out of 10. Very good job Rafif. Thanks bro. Let's move on to the next one. Alright guys. This is the build number 3, and the builder is, Rufif. Sup bro. Whoa, you got a new skin. Not Coco anymore. Nice. Wow. This is a futuristic tank. This tank looks sturdy and strong guys. Let's get into the tank. Portal. Damn. So futuristic. And here is the tank cockpit. Very cool. This is the tank storage. The details are amazing guys. Rafif is really cool. This build is a 9 out of 10. Great job Rafif. Let's move on to the next one. And the build number 4 is, a big plane. Wow, this is amazing. Making a plane body is hard in chicken gun. But the builder, Rafif, he did it very well. Um, why are so many gingerbread dead? <laughs> Let's take a tour inside the airplane. Wow. This is the cabin, so cool. Hee hee hee, thank you, I made it with someone. And here's the cockpit. This build is also good Rafif, good job, but the block looks a little messy. That someone has put the block? Hee hee, Rafif is so funny. I would rate it 8 out of 10. This plane is awesome. Thanks to Rafif for showing this build, you are the best builder. You are a very kind dragon dude, because you said that I will show you all of my builds. What? Let's move to the next build. Okay. So guys, we have another build from Rafif, a ship and a mini submarine. Rafif is a really pro builder guys. These builds are awesome, even the mini submarine is really cool guys. Let's take a look inside. Oh there's still no furniture. But the foundation is pretty good. Let's see the ship now. The outer part of the ship is built nicely. Huh? Who's this guy? And why is Blue crying low? Yeah never mind. Is this the place for passengers to relax Rafif? Yup, that's right. This place is also for passengers who are crying. I see. Here is the ship's baggage. Yes. Wow Rafif. You built this ship. Rafif. Don't worry dragon dude. Sometimes I enjoy collecting missiles. Oh nice. Damn, the weapons room. Even the wall too. And here is the bedroom. It's arranged very neatly and elegantly. 
I'm genuinely impressed by the final outcome of this ship and sub build. I didn't expect Rufif to make two build in one session. For the submarine I would give an 8 out of 10. And for the ship I would give a 9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. And the build number 6 is, Dane. Flying submarine. It looks complicated guys. And the concept is very interesting. Let's go inside. Oh. It's pretty cool. The furniture inside is very tidy. And the cockpit is also advanced. There are still many other furniture as well. Small but mighty. I would give this build an 8 out of 10. Let's move on to the next build. The build number 7 is, a drone. Wow, a drone and chicken gun. This is from military. Let's see the inside. Home. It seems like it's not very tidy inside, but the cockpit. Rafif uses a futuristic cockpit concept. The exterior part is also futuristic. I like the build. I would give this a 7 out of 10. Rafif built this in such a short amount of time, which is very impressive. Let's move on to the last build. So the last build is... A truck. This looks like a truck from the 1900s. Rafif I must say, this is so cool bro. This truck is truly impressive, every detail looks perfect. LOL haha, ha. the truck carrying gold. Guys, even the interior of the truck, is spacious and tidy. Good job Rafif. <laughs> okay guys, this build is a 9.5 weight, no doubt. This build is a 10 out of 10. Rafif, you are so talented, you should make more builds like this. Once again, good job Rafif. Wow, I'm speechless dragon dude. Thank you so much bro. Hee <laughs> hee. If we score a goal, you guys must subscribe. Yeah, that's right. You must subscribe and like this video. Let's do this. Bruh. Bruh. Um, you still have to subscribe guys. And? Now? Hey? Mooney, what's wrong? Listen to me basket thing. If you don't make me score a goal, I'll make you chicken nugget, like chicken god did. I did it. Yeah. Now you have to subscribe, and likes this video. And here we have build number one, from my friend, Cheeseburger. Hello Cheeseburger. Alright cheeseburger, let's go. What is this bro? Oh, luxury cruise boat. Damn, the boat's gate is cool. And what is this? Wow, the cockpit? Let's explore the inside. Guys, wow, this is very cool bro. This feels very luxurious. Lifesaver, this is a float. And indeed this is a lifesaver, uh huh. This is the toilet, and many other furniture items are neatly arranged, so elegant. And the engine space. Alright guys, this luxury cruise boat is so cool. I would give this luxury build an 8.5 out of 10, overall a good build. Thanks for showing this cheeseburger. Let's move on to the second build. And the second build is, a big statue. Wow! And Rafif is the builder. Dragon? Dude, what? It's me. Wow Rafif. You made me a statue, and I look handsome too. Rafif? You're an insane builder. It's crazy how you make all these alone. Yeah bro, I know. That's why you're an amazing builder. Good job bro. Can we go inside Rafif? Oh, it's okay Rafif, no problem. I just wanted to see the internal structure. Damn, it's so good. Rafif made it so neatly. Oh I saw it earlier, you even built my name too, this is so cool, I love it, dragon, dude, lol, everyone is joining, Rafif, I must say, this is an 11 out of 10 build, thank you for making me an amazing statue and showing it to me, good job, let's move on to the next build, and this is build number 3, a cozy house, let's go, wow, just entered the room, and it already feels cozy and luxurious. Here is the builder. Walkman 21. The living room is decorated very neatly and elegantly. Oh, this must be Walkman's room. Because boys' rooms are always like this. Hee <laughs> hee. Yup, this is Walkman's room. 
the kitchen. Oh, here is not just an ordinary kitchen. Heaters, washing machines, kitchen, even dining areas are available here. And many more guys. Very good job bro. It's really well detailed. I like it. Guys, a room for studying or working. Ah, I want it guys. The garage turned into a warehouse. Walkman is very detailed guys. And the TV is still on. Guys, overall this house is perfect. It's really well detailed. This is a 10 out of 10. Good job Walkman. Wait, there's another build next to it. Wow. A library. Nice. Not only that, he also made a camp. Great build Walkman 21. Let's move on to the next one. The build number 4 is a mansion. Wow. This looks cool guys. And the builder is, Peter Games. Bruh, why is there a clone? And, bald? Anyways, let's take a tour of the mansion. This is the mansion's gate. So fancy. A kitchen. Nice. Damn, a garage filled with luxury vehicles. So cool. Oh, a restaurant. The menu board is also very unique and cute. Moreover this is very neat and beautiful guys. Oh, let me help you. Let's continue the tour. Whoa. Beautiful bedroom. This room is the best. Damn. And we have a private jet here. So cool. There is another room as well. It is very nice and neatly organized. Alright so, I will give this build 10 out of 10, the build is perfect. Good job Peter Games. And thanks for showing the build. Let's move on to the next build. The build number 5 is, an airport. Wow! This one is also made by Peter Games. Great job! Let's tour the airport. Oh, there are many helicopters at this airport. And not just one model only, and there are airplanes here too. Nice! Here is an aircraft fueling station. Let's go inside the airport. Oh. The airport waiting area. Nice, made very neatly. Oh, let's go. This tall and large structure is the control tower guys. Let's explore it. Whoa. This is a computer for monitoring the entire airport. This tower is also very good guys. Here is the office for airport staff. Another computer. This airport is amazing. No doubt, this is also a 10 out of 10. Good job. With a stable position, the plane is now in an ideal position for a safe land. Wait. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, nice pitter games. But, let me try to do smooth landing. Ouch. Alright, show me the next build, bro. And the build number 6 is a rocket. Damn. Peter Games is very creative. Let's tour inside. A fridge. Wow, the fridge is stuffed with food. So yummy. Mm. And here's the toilet. There's also a TV and a mirror. There are also rooms for the crew. Oh, a control room. This is the cockpit. Nice, wow, that's the engine control of this rocket. So cool. I would rate it an 8 out of 10, the rocket is constructed neatly and tightly. Good job Peter Games, let's move to the next build. Oh, Peter Games. And the build number 7 is, a prison. Let's tour inside guys. Huh? Oh, he blocked the door so no prisoners could escape, let's go. Whoa, this prison is so big, and so detailed. Let's see another room. What? Why is there blood? Looks like there's been a murder here. Oh, this was just set guys. Phew. And here is another prison room. Peter Games made it with great detail. And here is where the prison guards monitor all the prisoners guys. Very cool. A room for prisoners to work I guess. Great. Oh, an office for prison guards. Nice. And next, prison guards must remind everyone to, subscribe to Dragon Dude. This prison building is absolutely impressive. The attention to detail and creativity you've put into it shines through. For sure. This build is a 10 out of 10. Good job Peter Games. Oh. Thank you Peter Games. You are so kind. Let's move on to the next build. 
on the build number 8. Oh, a parkour. Yup, let's try it. Bruh. Bruh. Uh? Bruh. Uh? Bruh. 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 Nice. Bruh. It's hard. Phew. Bruh. Once again, guys. Okay, now even harder. Bruh. Yeah guys this is very difficult, especially since I'm using an emulator which makes it even harder bra. And of course I can't give a rating yet, because I haven't finished it, hee <laughs> hee. But I can say that this parkour build is really good. And let's move on to the last build. And the last build is... Peter Games. What is that? It looks scary. It looks like some kind of ritual. Creepy vibes. Zombie apocalypse. Zombie King sit here. Oh, it's a chair for the Zombie King. Wow guys, Peter Games built something quite out of the box, but I'm curious, how big the Zombie King is. No doubt, this build is a 10 out of 10. Good job bro. Um? Oops, I almost stepped in radioactive acid. I could have died over there, but do you know what will never die? That's right, the Build Battle video series, where we review 8 different awesome builds sent by you guys. You guys seem to like the last Build Battle video, so here I am with another one. So without further ado, let's go to our first build, which is the futuristic airplane. Here we are at our first build, and I'm here with my friend Rafif. This actually looks like a real plane from the outside. I know, it already looks amazing outside, so I'm really excited for the inside of this plane. After you enter the entrance of this plane you get directed to the main control room. They have all these complicated pilot control things. It's really detailed. And now we're in the main room where all the passenger seats are. They even have all the little baggage areas at the top of each seat. Yeah, they made it like a real life airplane. I don't like riding planes but if this was a plane then I'm 100% riding it. Maybe you should make your own airline, Dragon Dude Airlines. Sure, I'll even make the plane design a dragon. Subscribe to me if you think that's a good idea. And if not still subscribe to me either way low. But anyways this is a really good build, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna save 10 out of 10 for later since I have a feeling other builds could be better. We're off to a good start so far though. Let's jump off this plane to our next build then. <coughs> Alright here we are in the next build which is a battleship. Boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Don't forget that this build also has a mini submarine. I actually didn't notice this at first but now that I do it's really well built. Look at all the parts needed to make the submarine. This probably took a really long time to make. Not to mention you can go inside of it. I think I'm too fat to fit inside guys. Let's check out the inside of the ship now. It looks like an actual battleship. You even have all the cannons and guns on the side of the ship. And it actually functions. Down here we have the storage room. Well they got a huge nuke in here. Sadly chicken gun has a block limit so it's pretty empty. Chalo apps should make a build mode where you can put more blocks in my opinion. Let's go to the second floor. This ship even has an elevator. I guess this is the long room. And here's the top of the ship. I built this alone by the way. This definitely deserves a 10 tenth. The amount of time and effort it took to build all of this is amazing plus points for the mini submarine too i really don't think any other build in this video could top this one but we'll see on to our next build also shout out to rafif for the builds before for the next build we have a soccer stadium or as most people call it football it's built by my friend Pedro so shout out to Pedro And if we see it from above it actually looks like one of those soccer stadiums This inspires me to start my own football club lol I'll name it Dragon FC and will win the Champions League every single season Anyways, it's also accurate cause as you can see there's also the bench where the backup players can sit Not to mention it tells everyone to subscribe to Dragon Dude Now before I give my final score, let's play a round of soccer first The winner of this match will win the Dragon Cup and a lot of money Welcome everyone to tonight's match, it's Dragon FC vs Pedro FC, here we have Dragon Dude running up to the goal, he shoots, and it hits the woodwork, I can't believe it. But yeah this is a cool build I rate is 10 out of 10 for creativity, plus you can play soccer in it and I quite like soccer, once again thanks to Pedro for making this build. For our next build we have a luxury apartment. Hello? 
So from the outside we can see the Brazilian flag. Shout out to all my Brazilian fans watching this right now. We have a few guards in the front. Good for security, especially since this is a big apartment. They also have a big garage which leads to the front door. And after going inside we're greeted with a dining and living room. It's also very spacious so you can put a lot of stuff in it. Here we have a comfy pink couch and a TV so you can lay down and chill. They also have a kitchen and the fridge is stacked with food. And here we have the private room. They also have a bathroom here. Although it's weird that they have windows. I do not want people to see me bathing lol. And if we go through this portal we arrive at the rooftop. We have a small swimming pool or jacuzzi in the middle. And a place to sunbathe. This is fine. Overall it's a good build and I would give it a 7 out of 10. It's a bit messy and I think if they upgrade the furniture and design a bit they'll get a higher score. Thanks to TV Man for making this build. For the next build we have a warship. This build reminds me of those cool battleship games. Not going to say the name lol. Welcome to my warship. This guy looks very rich. You already got good detail from the outside part. There's even more cool stuff inside. Gotta drink my milkshake first so my mind doesn't melt when I see the inside. Up first we have I'm guessing the workshop part of they ship. And down here we have submarines that are ready to be deployed. I should also buy this boat for the Dragon Dude army. And here we have the sleeping quarters. It's big enough to fit 8 crewmates inside the ship. And over here we have the engine room. Looks similar to a real engine room. You gotta love the detail in this build. If I was a crewmate I wouldn't mind living living in this ship, the most important room of all, the weapons room, so if an enemy comes at us we can defeat them fast, we also got a place to chill for all the crewmates, speaking of crewmates this could be an Among Us map lol. Last but not least if you go up these stairs, it'll lead you to the captain's room, a pretty cozy place for a captain, this ship is actually really huge, you're a pro builder bro, I rate this build another 10 out of 10 again, there's so many good builds this time that I have to give most of them a full score, thanks, now let's fly in this helicopter to the next build, shout out to the bacon for making this build, helicopter, helicopter, for our next build we have a giant KV-6 tank, for reference here's what a KV-6 tank looks like, I have never seen a tank this big in my life. Hello I am the owner of this tank. From the outside you can already tell this tank build is going to be awesome. Look it even has flames on the back side. Also they have Moya at the front. A perfect touch to this build. Also this is a cool entrance sign and you should do what it says. Alright let's finally go on this tank. There are a lot of Coco and PC soldiers which is a good touch. We can also go up here to the tank control room. We have the tank shells over here and the turret view outside. Also how do you get out of here? Good question. I didn't think about that law. And over here we have another control room. The tank is so huge that you can even fit two charts on it. Finally we have the main controls here to move the tank. For your final rating I'll give it a 9.8 out of 10. An amazing build from Cat so give a round of applause to him. I also really like the Moya in the front and the Coco in PC lol. For our 7th build we have a small shop. Since there's no text over here I'll just fix it. There we go. Dragon Dude Burger Shop. Like this video if you like burgers. Over here we have a single chair for a single customer. As you can see we don't get a lot of customers here lol. Please someone come eat here. But at least they can watch some TV while they eat here. Although we only have one channel and it's just this. We also have trees around the restaurant for extra oxygen. Inside here we have the main kitchen. Lots of food to serve. And yet no one to serve. I'll just place this camera here so we can spy on our non-existent customers. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is the smallest build in the whole build battle. It's pretty cozy but I think it needs more added to it. So I'll give this build a 7.5 out of 10. And on to our final build which is the Dragon Dude Clone Execution Chamber. You guys are gonna love this one. First we got a security post here. Oh my god the Coco soldier died. I don't know who did this but this is devastating. I bet it's one of the Dragon Dude clones who escaped. Rest in peace Coco soldier. Can we get an F in the comments please? Well since he's dead we'll use his body as a test subject. Um where is the acid? Alright guys you didn't see anything. Now let's test this out. Bye bye dead Coco soldier. This is so sad. But yeah anyways this acid looks really cool don't you think? We also got another security guard room and we have a penguin sleeping. Get back to work I didn't pay you to sleep. There's also another penguin up here to stay on guard in case any dragon dude clones escape. That's all for this build and because it kills dragon dude clones I have to give it an 11 out of 10 more. This is Dragon Dude, report to be landing safely. Roger Dragon Dude, you now clear to land right here. Roger that. What's up gamers, welcome back to another chicken gun video again. 
And today, we are gonna having fun in Chicken Gun while reviewing some builds from my friends. And yeah, allow me to introduce, Mooney YouTube Gaming. And his brother, Brave Chicken. They are my friends who found some awesome builds and also will accompany me in today's video. So without further ado, let's head to the first one. Um? I think this plane is only for one people. I'll grab the helicopter then. Cool, I'll throw this plane then. Finish. Okay, let's go into the helicopter guys. Don't worry guys, we are okay. Alright, this is the first place that Moon told me. This is the parkour map or maybe you guys call it as an obby. Dang, this is looks insane and cool bro. Oh, Moon told us to meet at the obby. Alright let's go then. Oh, Moon just came at me with a helicopter. Is this Dragon Dude Special Forces? Oh it is lol. Alright, thanks soldier. Okay, now it's time to start the parkour. Um, we are surrounded by the lava. It reminds me about the worst map in Chicken Gun Racing Mode called RVP Track 3. That's when the fear of grinding coins and playing the map came to me in instant lol. But I'm okay. Besides, this parkour map is awesome and fun to play. So let's continue the parkour shall we? Oops. Oh no, are you okay sir? Oh, Moon is worried about me. It's okay soldier. I have the ability to respawn. So now, let's continue to finish this parkour. Bruh, I slipped again. Oh, Moon gave me permission to skip the parkour. Alright, sounds great. There he is, come with the magic wall lol. Okay let's go soldier. Alright, oh, a chair? Okay, Moon wanted me to sit on the chair, so let's go. Um, whoa. Thanks soldier for the helps. So now let's get going. Oh wait. What? I can't move and do anything. Bruh. My game is glitch, even I can't respawn. Okay I'm back, Wool Moon pick up me with a helicopter. Thanks soldier, my game was glitched so I need to restart the game, but I think it's cool now, so let's continue to finish the obby. Oh no, Mooney. Oh wait he tried to clutch. Bruh. He failed. Yep, I slipped again lol. Okay, finally I got into the checkpoint and I'm so tired to do anything. Let's take a rest and sleep over here. Ah so relaxing. Oh wait, I think there is something on my back. Hello there. Oh you bought me a drink, thanks Moon. Bruh, there is a penguin on my back. Hello guys. That's why I felt kinda weird. Bruh. RIP penguin guy. Anyway, we are drinking and resting together. This is the best parkour map and the best time to hang out with. And after that we are dancing together lol. Alright let's continue to the parkour. Six and a half hours later. Finally, there is the finish line. We did it. And Moon is here too. But I didn't see his brother. Maybe he's still in the checkpoint before. Anyway, I have a new idea for the fun challenge. I told to the moon too. The challenge is to go down without falling. Sounds fun right? So yeah, let's begin the challenge shall we? Oh no, I slipped again. No, sir. I have failed soldier. 
Anyway, we are finally go down and eat ice cream together, it was a fun experience lol. So yeah, let's head to the next place shall we? Okay, this is the second place. Um, what is this place? There are so many toxic right here. This is the Dragon Clone Extermination. Um, Extermination. What? Dang boy, and what is this? A chamber? Let me activate the acid right now. Um, is it allowed? What the? Whoa. There's a big flood with the acid. We throw clones in there. What? So there is a reason why this place called Dragon Clones Extermination. <laughs> Dang bro. I don't know if it's okay but, great job soldier. What? Uh oh. The worker was killed. What? Oh no, poor soldier. Let's throw his dead body into the acid. What? As you say sir. Hey yo, what the f Goodbye soldier, your kindness is always be remembered. Rest in peace. He dedicated his life to killing clones, and loved the Dragon Dude's channel. Okay, this is the third place. Why there is so many crowded right here. I present to you, the fans of Dragon Dude. What? For real soldier, let me see from the high place. Oh my god. I lost word right here lol. There are so many of them. Let's activate them all soldier. Yes, make them dance. Six and a half hours later. Oh no, there's one down here. He was attacked by the bear. I'm dying. Help me. Please somebody, do something. You okay bro? Oh no, I hope he is fine. Oh look, he is okay. Thank godness, he's still dancing and I think he was happy that we helped him lol. Thank you. Anyway, this place is amazing. Oh, Moon's brother wants me to see him. I think he has something to show for me. So let's go. Oh my, a big dragon dude statue. This is so cool. Hello there. Thanks Brave, that was amazing. Okay, now is the fourth place. And in this place, Moon showed me so many big statues. Like this Titan Speaker statue, the big golem on the upper hotel, the spider statue with the oven in the head, and bread as the lungs, and the apple as the heart. Kinda scary to be honest lol, and then when I was looking around, this has happened. <coughs> Mooney. He fell off from the Titan speaker. Wake up soldier, you can do it. Please don't go. <coughs> no, Mooney. I will miss him so much, he was a great guy, we are just having fun together before. Oh wait, Mooney? Is that you with the limo? Don't you say, that you have the ability to respond to? Oh my god. Okay okay, I think that's it for the dramatically scene, it was fun though lol. So let's continue to the next place shall we? Okay, this is the fifth place, and this is a cozy burger shop. Oh my god. This is so cozy, I can tell that just by looking at it, you can see the beautiful sunset with the stars right there, the warm and nice field with so many trees, and many more. I think I want to order some food right here, I'm kinda a little bit hungry too lol. Please take my order, I want to one pizza and two burgers, no sweet please. A few moments later. Oh wait, I think this is too much from my order lol, anyway, thanks soldiers. Ah, this is the best place to chill, the food was great, and the soda was not bad at all. This is the first submarine. This submarine build is amazing, guys. Look at this, this submarine has cool propeller. Oh, the propeller also works guys. Let's explore the inside. Great place to enjoy the view, let's get more into this build. Oh, a meeting place, and the next meeting, the crew should discuss about. Subscribe to Dragon Dude, hee <laughs> hee, don't forget about it guys, let's go down. Wow? Wait, there's a big hole here, let me fix this. 
Never mind guys. Mm -hmm. Apart from the holes, the interior was neatly constructed, and every side is very precise. You can see for yourself guys, this is so cool. No doubt, I'm amazed by the precision and accuracy in the construction of this submarine. Nice job. The builder is crazy. Let's move on to submarine number 2. Here is the second submarine, very similar to the first one. Let's explore the inside. Oh! Nice! Um, how can I go in more? Perhaps somewhere else. One hour later. And I didn't find any other door to get in. Did the insanely pro builder who built this submarine just forget to make huh? a door? Bruh! I guess I will have to break a part of this submarine. I'm sorry builder. Oh! The interior is just as tidy as number one guys. Wow! Oh! There's a room here. Guys, damn, this is perfect, so neat that it is almost invisible, wait, invisible. And here's the other lift. The first place. How did I even not see this? Um, uh, how can I go in more? I only had to move forward a little, and because of that, I had to break this amazing submarine. Forgive me builder, I wasn't careful enough. And another lift. Oh. There is a periscope, so cool. And just insane. Oh, a monitor to see what's ahead and behind, nice. But don't worry about me breaking the submarine before guys, because I have save it. Let's see the next submarine. Guys this submarine number 3 is so huge. Oh, propeller. Cool detail. What I can say for this huge submarine is wow. Let's explore this huge submarine. Oh this way. The meeting place. Like usual, the crew should discuss about. Subscribe. Fuel supply room. The fuel supplies are also organized. Navigation room. Lot of computers here. Home. The weapon storage I guess? Let's get down. And this is the bottom part of this submarine. By the way, the builder who built all these submarines is very professional. He knows a lot of stuff about submarines, but I don't even know their name sadly. In fact, these submarines are based on real life submarine models. But if you guys are on a real submarine, don't do anything like that. The storage, I think. The gym place. I like it. Bedroom for the crew. Dining room. This is so cool. Wait, um, this door for what? Ha 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 nice. And this is the engine room. Very well made, to be honest, I am speechless. How creative this builder is, I don't know how anyone could surpass this. This is literally perfection. Let's move on to the next submarine. This is submarine number 4, so I know the name of this one. This is a Kilo class submarine, if I am correct. <laughs> By the way, this was told me by the builder, how to bring up water with a chalkboard. Just input this code, and don't forget to save it, and press OK. The sea is incredible. Unfortunately, I don't have the code for the flag. Wow this is so cool. Let's begin the exploration. Oh so you can see the view, and enjoy the sea breeze. Let's get down, here's the meeting place. Um, the water is leaking low. <laughs> Oh here's the bedroom. And here's the canteen, the furniture is tidy, and comfortable for dining. The engine room. Oops! The engine got flooded. The medical room. I'm speechless again guys. The gym room. The storage room. And here's the navigation room. This submarine is amazing guys. Nice work builder. Let's move on to the next submarine. And this one is a Delta Force submarine. Let's bring up the water. The sea makes the submarine look amazing. Let's explore. A place to relax. A meeting place, the navigation room. The storage room, home similar to the previous submarine. Maybe the builders used the same ship model. A place for the gym. And the bathroom is also built carefully. Oh the submarine fuel depot is here. The canteen. And here's the engine room. The engine got flooded. Again. The crew's bedroom is arranged in a neat and unique way. That's all for the Delta Force submarine guys. Nice work builder. Let's move on to the next one. 
This is the Brazilian submarine. Let's explore. Oh nice, unique design. Oops, the water leakage is serious. I hope this doesn't disrupt our tour. There's two beds, the kitchen, and there's coffee. So tasty, thanks builder. Wow, full of supplies, and here's the engine room. Oh, it's toilets. And here's the navigation room. So many computer stuff here. Here's the weapon supply. All parts of making this submarine seem well planned. Nice work, builder. Let's move on to the next submarine. Before we explore the sub, let's explore the small ship first. This is awesome. I believe it's a jacuzzi. Even though it's small, it's pretty dense in this ship. Let's explore the main building. Nice cabin. And here's the bedroom. And the room where the machine operates. And this is the kitchen. This is the toilet. The navigation room, and the storage room is here. The furniture is arranged very neatly. Bathroom. There are four bathtubs here. And here's, the electricity source I think. The studio. So cool. Even with green screen. There are many crates here. And the weapon control. The missiles are functioning perfectly. This submarine build is outstanding. Each part seems carefully planned. Let's move on to the next submarine. Another huge submarine. Let's explore. Oh, just as I thought, this is a relaxing place. As always, there must be a meeting place. Navigation room. The storage room. And here is the gym room. There are several toilets here. The bedroom is also very neatly arranged. The most important room where the engines operate. The interior is similar to the others with the only difference being the layout. Like I said before, the builder may have used the same submarine model. And this is the bottom part of the submarine. Very cool, right? I'm truly captivated by the beauty and precision of this submarine. Let's move on to the next sub. Hee hee guys, look at this small submarine. So cute and unique right? Nice, let's tour the sub. The bedroom is tidy, and there's even a laundry room. Even though it's small, there is a navigation room here. And here's the bathroom. There's even a kitchen. Small but mighty, this submarine's design is a perfect blend of efficiency and style. Nice work, builder. Let's move on to the next sub. Um, I don't think it's even a submarine lol, but yeah, let's see it. A submarine can be as small as to only fit one person, but this is still a lot bigger than that. Oh red periscope. And look at this guys. Ha ha ha, nice controls, lol. Yup, like I said, this can be for more than one person. Nice work, builder. Let's see the last submarine. And this is the last submarine. Pretty cool huh? Let's explore then. Here's the meeting place the navigation room. And this is the bottom part. Very neat and precise. Oh. The room for captain. There is even a TV as well. Nice, and that's all the rooms. The interior of this submarine is also relatively small. Nice work, builder. Hi guys, now I'm with Crunch. Ayo, what's Crunch doing? No cannibalism allowed Crunch. Oh, he's just joking guys, haha. -ha. Crunch just shocked me for a second guys. I thought I was going to be the next one to be roasted. Because Crunch is here, we will make an awesome build. Oh, good question Crunch. We're going to create a jungle style resort with very comprehensive facilities. Without further ado, let's start guys. Let's start making the fence first. I use a hedge to give the impression of a jungle style resort. The hedges are also home to a variety of birds and other wildlife. Oh, Crunch is working on the resort entrance gate. Nice, let's continue making the hedge. Oops. <laughs> and this. Let's make a hedge on the other side. CDD Resort, Crunch has already made a name for the resort. Great, Crunch. What does CDD stand for? CDD stands for Crunch's X-Dragon Dudes. So cool. 
By the way Crunch, how are you so pro at building? I can't just put the blocks properly, but you, you align them perfectly. Your fingers are so precise when placing the blocks. But me. Bruh. Yeah? Tell me your secret Crunch. Oh, Crunch is also learning how to build perfectly on YouTube. The name of the channel is Koresh24k. That's the secret to being a pro builder guys. Thank you. I will watch them too. Let me adjust these hedges first. Building something like this is fun guys, especially if you're with your friends. And now Crunch is decorating the entrance gate. So pretty. Let's continue, guys. Let's see how Crunch goes. Damn, no doubt. This is so pretty, guys. CDD Resort. Sydney Resort. <laughs> By the way, I love it Crunch. Is this big enough crunch? Should I increase it? Yes, you should. Okay guys, let's increase the hedge. I knew it would be like this. Let's tidy up the hedge. Let's see. Oh, nice. Let's continue then. Oh, it's enough guys. Okay then, let's make hedges for the back part. By the way, I used a trick from Crunch right now. Don't move your camera. And let's continue on this side. And tidy it up. Look at Crunch guys, he is making a barbecue grill. Nice! Oh, Crunch has also built a ticket counter. I can't wait to see the finished result of this resort. Let's finish the hedge as soon as possible. Nice, how does it look from above? Pretty good, huh? Oops, let me fix it. It's time to take a short break and eat some tasty meat. Mm. Yummy! After lunch, it's time to continue making the swimming pool. Wait, what block should I use for the pool? Maybe this one is suitable for the pool. Let's build the pool in the corner of the resort so visitors can enjoy the view while swimming. Hee hee The floor part of the swimming pool is already finished. Now it's time to make the wall part. A few moments later. Phew. Adjusting this wall really takes a long time guys. And it still seems to be tilted. Bruh. Okay. Still one. Okay Crunch. Let's wait until Crunch comes back guys. Okay now Crunch is back. Crunch. Can you help me make the walls for this pool? Nice. Look. Ha. Huh? Oh, Crunch wants to teach me how he does it. He takes the blocks. And, he throws it. Oh, I understand now. Thanks Crunch. Let's try it. And throw it. Oops, throw it. Now making the walls is easier. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. The pool is finished now. Let's tidy up a little more. Now let's fill the pool with water. Circle? Huh? Bruh, why does it become a border like this? And now I can't delete it. Nice. Oops. <laughs> Crunch is drowning. Um, Crunch. I don't know how to remove this big blue border. Okay guys, let's try to remove it. Huh? 
Oh, I found it. Nice, let's continue to fill the pool. For now, let's use the chalkboard to fill the pool, guys. Hee hee hee. And the pool is already filled, although there's a little spill lol. But yeah, let's help Crunch as soon as possible. Even though I didn't help much, hee <laughs> hee. Crunch has already built this much guys. Wait, let's add a ladder to this pool. Nice, I will add a trash bin, satellite antenna, and some trees. Then add some fans to this restaurant. Umbrella. Two umbrella, the perfect match for umbrella is, reclining chairs, a place for visitors to relax after swimming. Add a barbecue grill and some details. Yes please, Crunch. Now Crunch help me fixing the pool guys. Sorry for the bad build. Thank you Crunch. Not only did he fix it, but he also improved the swimming pool. This is so cool. And Crunch also added reclining chairs. Time to relax a bit. Hee hee hee. Oh, okay Crunch. Let's just add some details Crunch. Nice, I love it. Hey Crunch, let's play. Bruh. Crunch? Yeah. Yay. Let's take a final tour. How beautiful the front part of the resort is guys. Welcome to CDD Resort guys. Let's buy a ticket. This cashier looks scary. Wow, the ticket booth is made really nicely by Crunch. And here is the place for you to relax, like camping while enjoying grilled food. So mm. yummy. And this is a very luxurious and elegant restaurant, check out all the furniture guys. It's very neat, right? Crunch is really awesome. Hello, I want to order the most delicious food at this restaurant. Ouch. <laughs> and here's Mr. Penguin. Hello. This is a place for you to swim and relaxing. Alright guys, that's all CDG Resort. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you to Crunch for helping me create this video. This resort is really beautiful. I think you agree with me. Hee hee. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Crunch's channel. See you.